Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This is your teacher Hamza and I hope that you are doing very well today. So as you know last time we have um, seen the first lesson of unit 6. Uh, we have seen the different adjectives fastest, slowest, nearest, worst, best, highest, widest and furthest and we have put them in different examples now our lesson for today is going to be the lesson number two okay so i'm just gonna zoom this page all right the first exercise that we have here is make sentences about the people in the pictures okay so the question here is we are going to use these words out here in these pictures okay I will read the words that we have in the bubble the oldest the longest the biggest the nearest the fastest okay obviously some of these words are very easy when I say the oldest it's like the biggest um, brother for example you have brothers and you have sisters so when I say the oldest I mean um, the biggest brother like he's very older than you when it comes to age okay for example you have 11 years old your brother must have um, let's say 15 years old or 20 years old so that means he or she is the oldest okay when I say the biggest it's very easy the biggest um, the biggest let's say the biggest uh, car is hammer uh, the nearest supermarket is margin or is beam as we have seen last time okay so let's try to see how this exercise um going to be treated so the first picture here we have three girls running okay they are running on a race and um, the sentence is k this is k is the fastest Okay, why did we put K is the fastest? It's because she is the one who will comes first. Okay, she, she, she is the one who will win the race. Okay, that's why she is the fastest. Okay, but here Sue, as you can see, she's a kind of, you know, anxious. She's kind of worried whether she's going to make it or not. That's why we can say that K is the fastest but sue is the slowest okay this is is doable as well okay now let's see the second let's see the second um picture we have three houses the first house is len's house the second house is andy's house the third house is amy's house and we have the school okay so we want to say which is the nearest house to the school which is the nearest house to the school is it amy's house is it andy's house or is it len's house think about it which is the nearest house to the school so the answer is the nearest house is amy so we're gonna type amy Amy's house is the nearest okay Amy's house is the nearest to school this is Amy's house and this is the school it's very close so Amy's house is the nearest all right so the first the second word is done nearest let's see the other word we have here in the fourth picture we have Jill we have Anne and we have Lou Jin, Jill and and Lou have different hair colors and they have different hair length as we see Lou has a very very short hair and has a medium hair and Jill has a very long hair so 
our sentence is going to be Jill has the longest hair. Okay? Jill has the longest hair. Capital letter Jill has the longest hair. Comparing to the other girls, Jill has the longest hair. Okay? Fantastic. Now, let's move to the third picture. But before we do that, I'm just gonna draw a line on this. The longest, because it's already done. Let's read, uh, or let's see the picture number three. We have John, we have Dave, we have Greg. And what's the difference between John, Dave, and Greg? The difference is, these three guys have three different bags or backpacks. Okay, so we have Greg here with his very tiny, small purple backpack. We have Dave with a medium backpack, an orange color. We have John here with a very big backpack. This one is, is used for camping when you want to go camping. You can use this one, okay, because it carries the tent and all the, uh, the tools and stuff that you need, okay. So, what are we going to say in this case? The words that we have are, the words that we, the, the words left that we have are the oldest, the biggest. Are we going to use the oldest or are we going to use the biggest? Let's think. We have three bags, one is small, one is medium, one is big. What is the sentence that we're going to use? Excellent. The word that we're going to use is the biggest. The word that we're going to use is the biggest. So, we're going to say here, John, John has the biggest backpack. John has the biggest backpack. John has the biggest backpack. Okay? Excellent. Now, and the final picture is about three girls. Oh, sorry. Two girls and one kid. So, Katie has a paper where it's written, I am 14. And Tina has a paper where it's written, I am 10. Gary has a paper where it's written, I am 8. So, Gary is 8 years old, Tina is 10 years old, and Katie is 14 years old. Who is the oldest? The word that we're going to use is the oldest, as I explained earlier. Oldest. But the question is, who is the oldest? Is it Tina? Is it Gary? Or is it Katie? Think about it. Who is the oldest? We have 8 years old. We have 10 years old. We have 14 years old. Excellent. Katie is the oldest. So we're going to type here, Katie is the oldest. Why? It's because she is 14 years old. It's because she is 14 years old. So, let's do a small revision. We have K is the fastest. Because she won the race, she is in the first place. Amy's house is the nearest to school because it's very close to the school. While these two are very far, this one is very close. Jill has the longest hair because look at her hair, it's very long. Love has a very short hair and has a very medium hair, but Jill has a very long hair. 
John has the biggest backpack, the size of the backpack. Look at the size of this backpack, the red one. It's very huge, it's big. Look at this one, it's very tiny, it's very small, okay? And finally, Katie is the oldest. Why is she the oldest? Because she is 14 years old. Because she is 14 years old. So you have 8 years old, 10 years old, 14 years old. For example, teacher Hamza is the oldest in the classroom. Because I am 23 years old. Okay? I hope that you have understood the second lesson. I'll see you next time. Cheers.